Welcome, humans and non-humans. Welcome to Poppy Playtime. I wanted to go ahead and play the Playtime games. Not not Project Playtime, because I don't care for that one, to be honest. I mean, it, it's an okay game, I just don't prefer it. But I wanted to play them before um, Chapter 3 came out later. I don't know if it was this month or next month. I don't quite remember when it is. But, yeah. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Alright, let's watch the intro. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Why are you so close, sir? Hard to believe. Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy hey, Poppy. is as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you <laughs> help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can Ooh, spooky poppy. Poppy playtime. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. And there's blood on the thing. Or, I'm sorry, marinara sauce, as some other YouTubers put it. It's a black void. I, I remember the code, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's green, pink, yellow, red. Yeah. Okay, anyway, um, pretend I didn't enter that yet. Oh, man, what's the code? Oh! Oh, man, what's this train? Oh, they has colors on it. Ooh, green, pink, yellow, red. Oh, that's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre. Hey, Leif. I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Oh, no. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which... Once set off, we'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security. What you mean by that? No spoilers. So, Dang it. you got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I hope so, too. Gotta put this in and watch it. Grab pack. Tighten the straps. Pull 
hold both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto objects. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. I'm pretty sure that was not just an injury. I think that was death. Poppy wants to play. That is not something I would want to ever see. Hey, Huggy. Yeah, there's a glitch that you can do to like absolutely bug your game. If you hit his hand at the right spot before you, before you click this. Yeah, before you grab the key. Oh no, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you won't be able to pull it. First stop. Man's got some monkey feet. Some monkey hands. Man is just a monkey. Okay, if I'm not mistaken... Oh! Huh. That's a glitch. Yeah, what you're supposed to do is actually... Yeah, pull the thing off. And that went flying. That is no longer in our... in our planet. Well, let's get back in. Oh no, Huggy! Where did you go? Sorry, it's a good, it's a good song. Okay. Make a friend. Oh, there's his hand. Stairwell, stairway to hell. It's crazy how they always wind up putting. Wait, can I turn the brightness up? Yeah, I can. There we go. Hopefully you guys can actually see now. You know, to be honest, I have no idea where this tape is. Where this yellow tape is. Oh, right, oh, right. Yeah. Now to see if I can find literally anything right now. Okay, there's one of them. That's terrifying, actually. Like, no joke, that's actually terrifying. Oh, there it is! Alright, let's find the other- there's a third one. If I can actually aim. Now to go find the fourth one. Which shouldn't be too hard, right? Unless I've somehow already found it. Either way, let's go let's go watch this tape. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. 
Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right? Orphanage? I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. It's for the orphans. I wish there were less boxes. I agree. This would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. Dang, Rich. I think Rich needs to chill out. Okay, yeah. I was just up. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, let's find the last. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, right here. Alrighty, let's go back up. And let's get this red... Um, grad pack, grab pack, sorry. Right over here. Pretty sure it's possible with like glitches and stuff to be able to, you know, go up that. The power nipple. I feel like this is very inefficient. Very inefficient, in my opinion. How am I going faster than the toys? Oh, that was not fun. Whatever. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Completely forgot about this. <laughs> oh, pink. Let's find that pink. Oh, yeah, you can jump that. It's just kind of difficult, considering I haven't played this game in... Jeez, when did it come out? When did Chapter 2 come out? Yeah, I played it right about when Chapter 2 came out.
All right. You know, I have, I don't see the pink. Whoa. That was not cool looking at all. Okay, where is the pink? Grab. Thank you. Yeah, since the, this is right here, that means that the pink tape is somewhere. So I'm just gonna quickly Nope, that's not it. Dang it. Huh. Thank you. How does that work? Huh. Maybe it was actually the pink one that I could never find. But yeah, you can just grab the um, toy right here, like in this. Oh yeah, if you notice, this one watches you. Well, I'm gonna keep searching for that pink tape. So. Marinara sauce and ketchup on the walls for some reason. again yeah. oh Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find the pink tape and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm not the brightest person. But do you see that? You see that right there? That was the pink tape. Ah. Oh, the joys of this game. So, 
Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> mm. Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So Dang. I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? I don't know. Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Dang. Okay, Stella. Stella, I think I think I think there might be something wrong with you. Alright. Let's see if I can one shot this. Oh my gosh. I mean, I probably won't be able to because I'm not that good. Oh no. Nah. Yeah. Just as I thought. More lives are at risk than just yours. Get up. I turned the wrong way. My apologies. Alright, that never happened, alright. I pretty much made it to the end. Oh my gosh. Do not enter, I'm entering. Okay, this is this is actually my first try. There we go. Yeah, see, this is actually just my first try. Oh, this way. Jeez. Huggy, no! Dang. You know, that's gotta hurt. Man, what's he doing with all that spaghetti in his head? Man. I, I only joke. Dang, what are you doing? Sliding your feet against it? Yep, here's the black tape. Let's play it. Final line in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. Yeah. That's why I'm making this log. 
so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... I think he died. Just a hunch, but I think he died. I don't know about you guys. Whoa, this is a giant contrast from whatever this part is to this. Nice little quaint, quaint little house. Just me or is the floors wet? Man, you're gonna get your hardwood messed up. You're gonna destroy it, cause water damage. Hey, that's the way to chapter two. It's crazy. I did. It's crazy. Yeah, in my opinion, I think that the first chapter might actually be better than the second. I know that might ruffle some people's feathers, but my opinion is my opinion. And... Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> um, ain't no way the pause menu still work. That's funny. Special thanks to Jonah Belanger. Belanger, however you say, I'm not very good with names. Uh, anyways, I believe that's it for this, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Anyways, that will do it for Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. If you guys like that video, like and subscribe. It, will, it really helps out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!